All right, welcome to the next lesson in the foot sandwich. In this particular lesson, we need to think about where our partner's foot is. And followers, there's going to be some technique that goes on. When we talked about ochos, we talked about sending our leg backwards from our body. So if I'm going to do an ocho and I'm, my chest is twisted, I'm not going to send my leg over here if my, my left foot is pointed back this way. I'll show you here. I don't want to go that way. I'm going to go directly behind my free leg, like I'm on, not behind my free leg, but on those tracks. Like I'm on the two tracks, I'm going to go straight back on that track. So here I go straight back, and then I will go roll into that uh, foot to then make the ocho. My front foot needs to point in the direction I'm going to go. So both my heels are going to point in the direction of my ocho, and then I'll send from there. If I don't do this, if I twist only some, but then I continue moving in this way, my front foot will be angled in some strange angle instead of being in line with my body. What we want to do is have our feet in line with our body in, in the direction our hips are going and not having them in some other direction that our hips are not going. Our knees, our hips, and our feet are going to be pointed in the same direction. This becomes very important when it comes to the foot sandwich. So the leaders we're going to be searching for our partner's foot. If their foot is twisted, it's going to make it much more difficult to find their foot. If their foot is in line with their body, it makes it rather easy. So, we'll take the ocho. We're going to settle our partner. And since Marina's foot is straight, you can see that it's in line with her body, or maybe you can't, but it's in line with her body. And because I know which, where her body is, I know where her foot is. So I know in, in which line it is. If she had her foot twisted here, this becomes dangerous because as I go to move into that space where I think her foot is, I could be stepping on her toes. I don't know if you can see that here, but I'm, my, my toes are right underneath, her toes are right underneath my heel. So followers, we want to make sure that that line is directly in line with your body. So here we go. We're going to continue on with the ochos. Ocho, pivot, we're going to settle our partner. Now leaders, what you want to do is you want to feel for the direction that she took that step. Even if she has her chest, chest twisted a bit towards you, which there, there usually is, you will be able to tell which direction you sent her into the step because you chose the direction. You chose where, where she's going to be going. So now with my free leg, I don't even need to look down. I can just move my foot into place. I'm not going to pick it up and put it down, though. I'm going to slide it with my toes on the ground, finding the foot. And then from here, I will then continue and come up and sandwich her foot. So we'll try this again. We're going to do some ochos. And maybe on the fourth ocho, I will settle Marina here. I'll send my foot to find hers. And then I'll come up and I'll sandwich her foot. The sandwich, there's a couple different ways to do this sandwich. I'm going to show you from behind. So here, I can either have it more like an like a actual sandwich, where she's kind of in between, or more like a hoagie, if you will, or like a Subway sandwich, where my heels are connected and my feet are going out. Either one of these is acceptable. I generally go for this particular one with my heels together, just because I think it looks a little bit cleaner. All right? So try some ochos, settle your partner, followers. You're leaving that foot out there. Remember, it's in line with your body. Hips are underneath. Try not to leave the hips out here. Bring the hips underneath. And then leaders make the sandwich. And then in the next video, in the next lesson, we're going to work on completing the sandwich. We'll see you in the next lesson.